to work with us directly so that together we can ensure the long-term needs. Society, and most importantly, how can I restart my life in such a meaningful way and hopefully bring some solace and peace of mind to the families that are so... I don't know how we make it without Michael Capone and Jim. He found out, that I went over to my friend's house that, that night, and the next night he had found out that I was in this tragedy. He was there that night with his kit, with a prepaid credit card of $1,000, I think it was, it's now up to 4000 And like I said, when you only got the shirt on your back and the shoes that you ran out with, he was God sent. And he has just been stepping up and stepping up in his new phase right now with paying for first, last security, maybe six months worth of rent. It's amazing. Rabbi, let's start again. I want to let the survivors know that we're ready. Or Thank you, Rosie. There's been lots of disasters that are, you know, major disasters that we've been involved in. This is home. This is like people we know in the building. There's, I mean, I could think of 300 people that either their best friend or their, you know, friend died in that building, you know, that are like friends of mine. So it hit really, really close to home. I don't gonna miss any of the things that I have. I just wanna be able to be close to my community, keep working as a volunteer, and a place to hold on. Discussing these challenges, these difficulties that you went through, 